Right, so straight to our stories now and the um, 15,000 capacity stadium. That is a new stadium being constructed in the heart of Cape Coast. So um, over the weekend, our cameras were there to take a look at exactly what is happening. We also spoke to the project manager. Generally speaking, yes, the progress is good. We just have about two or three months delay. Most of the material from China, we have to order. It takes long. Also, when the, we transport, transport to, the, to Ghana, it will take time. Also, the, to clean out, clear out from the custom, it will take time. But we cooperate with both ministry together. Yes, we try our best. They try their best. Yes. In all the rooms, yes, we have. Yes, if anything, if anywhere there is fire, it will be automatically alarming, and uh, the water will come from the floor. No problem. In October this year, we complete, but to hand over it will take one month to to ministry. Yes, they have to accept it. Last year, from the water region, some people from the ministry office, they came to visit our site. Yes, they are going to, to build another a similar stadium in water region. We just try our best to work here to, to, to construct this stadium. Up to one year, the, the ministry have take all we have to know how to operate this stadium, like lighting system, audience system, yes. It's in contract for maintenance, but because of the, the, this uh, facilities, the equipment from China, we have teach them to how to use it. We have in other African country, you, uh, yeah, like, like uh, Djibouti, like Botswana, the same, same skill stadium. No, the in the design, the structure is about uh, fifty or seventy years. The structure, yes. But for other facilities, it depends. The maintenance is very important. The paint, the coat, the paint coat, like that uh, thing. Yes, maybe uh, every five or ten years we paint. Yes. I know the Akla Stadium, when we go around the stadium, we see the rust. Yes, but it's long, more than 10 years, Akla one. At this time, we have to paint. This metal, not uh, stainless, yes. This iron, iron paint. The paint has lifetime. For me, I, this is the first time in Ghana to work. So I want to, to work this stadium. Properly. Right, so the project manager of the new Cape Coast Stadium project will be bringing you updates on that and it is going to be completed in October and handed over to government in November. And also they are going to take care of the maintenance for the stadium and for one year when they hand it over to government before they formally take over. So we'll be bringing you the very latest from that stadium and also the name that is going to be given to the stadium will also be finding out. But moving on to other stories now and the nomination for the presidential position for the Ghana Football Association um, was officially open on Monday and according to the GFA nomination forms for the position of the president are currently available at the association secretariat and all um, regional football association offices across the country and um, the nomination form shall be submitted in um, triplet Kate and the receipt shall be acknowledged by the officer. So vetting for um, nominees will begin on Monday, July 20, with the submission of the report, which will be announced on July 27. But the nominations um, will also be closed by Friday, July 17.